What does it mean to build something that lasts forever? To shape stones not just for shelter, but for meaning? To engineer the impossible not for profit, but for purpose? Meet the forgotten minds who imagined the impossible before the age of machines. This is the story of Imhotep the engineer who didn't just build a monument. He redefined what it meant to be human. Nearly 5,000 years ago in ancient Egypt, a man named Imhotep was born, not a king, not a god, but a visionary. A commoner with a mind that would rise higher than any pharaoh. He lived in the court of Djoser, the second king of Egypt's third dynasty, and he would become something the world had never seen before. The first recorded engineer, Imhotep's greatest masterpiece, the Step Pyramid of Saqqara, before the Great Pyramids. Before Giza, before geometry had a name, he took the traditional flat mast of a two-man and stacked it, stone by stone, layer by layer, creating the first pyramid in human history. No steel, no cranes, just mathematics, intuition, and tens of thousands of hands, and what was it for? Not power, but to help a soul find eternity. Imhotep wasn't just an architect, he was a physician, astronomer, priest, and philosopher. A true polymath, a mind that fused science with the sacred, he believed that order was divine, that to build was to honor the cosmos, to turn chaos into harmony. In Egypt, they called it Mat the Balance of the Universe. To engineer, in Imhotep's world, was to bring balance to life itself. The Step Pyramid stood 200 feet tall a skyscraper in the Age of Stone. It defied time, storms, and even centuries of silence. So powerful was Imhotep's legacy, he was later deified. Worshipped as the god of wisdom and healing, a man turned myth. But unlike many gods, we know he was real. His name survived, carved in stone, not in legend. Imhotep didn't just build the first pyramid. He built the idea that humanity could reach beyond survival, to construct, to design, to dream. From his blueprints rose cathedrals, bridges, rockets, and even the smartphone in your hand. The question is no longer can we build it, but why do we build at all? Because what we build, builds us.